Hello and welcome to this B1 Usability Package presentation. My name is Morten Peterson and I'm a developer at BoyMIT and I'll be taking you through this watch news session. In general, 6.0 is the first release in 2013 and therefore also requires a 2013 maintenance agreement in order to run. B1UP 6.0 is also the first release with support for Set Business 1 9.0 and Crystal Report 2011. 6.0 supports SAP Business 1 8.82 patch level 7 and higher, and we also support SAP Business 1 9.0 in both 32 and 64 bit. We also support Crystal Report 2008 and 2011, and the 2011 version is now, as you know, installed by default by SAP Business 1 9.0. In the feature area, the biggest new feature are in the universal functions. We have added a new universal function called File Export, or UFI for shorthand. UFI is a universal function that allows you to export data from SAP into a custom file format. The flow of UFI is that you start out by defining what data you want to pull from SAP. This can be done using SQL or C Sharp and you then define a template on how the file should look. This could be an XML format, a separate heavy format like Edifact, or something entirely different. UFI can then take the data and merge it with the template using keywords and a for each syntax, and it can then output a file to a specified location. The advantages of UFI is that you can export any file type, you can also run it as a normal UF using function buttons, B1 validation system, etc. You can also run it on a schedule so that you can export files, for example, on a daily basis. You can also run it as a batch directly within SAP Business One. In this screenshot, we have made a simple UFI configuration that will export an XML file. The file contains a card code and a card name and a list of invoices with the doc entry and the doc total. As you can see we have an XML template as the body with the keywords and then we have this for each syntax to write out the lines. We also have some SQL to get the body and the line data. All this put together allows us to export an XML file with the data run from a function button. As you can see you can easily create files using UFA. The next new feature is Universal Function File Importer, or UFI for shorthand. UFI is used for importing data into SAP from a custom file format. The flow of UFI is that you have a file, you then need to write some business logic in C Sharp that reads the file and uses the DI API to import it. And finally, then you have some new data in SAP. UFI is meant as a developer tool as it requires SDK and C Sharp knowledge. UFI, however, gives you as a developer certain benefits and also lowers the implementation time of a project. First of all, the C Sharp is compiled on the fly so that you can change and edit the code on premise and there is no need to recompile an add on. We have also included a free Visual Studio like editor for easier code editing. One of the biggest advantages is that we have made all the file logic for you. This means that we have created an intelligent archiving function that handles all the file logic like archiving, logging, checking if that a folder is writable, etc. This means that we have created all the need to have code for you so that you only need to create the business logic. UFI can also be run like a normal UF and on a schedule. And we also include a free FTP utility that can be downloaded for free and can then be used to upload and download files on schedule. UFA and UFI comes with a scheduler and a batch runner. For example, you can make UFA export files on a daily basis, or you can do it manually within SAP Business One. UFI is also able to automatically import files on a schedule, or you can also trigger an import directly from within SAP Business One. 6.0 also brings enhancements to existing modules. Function button have gotten a new UI look 
and we have removed a limitation that had been there since the first version. Function buttons are now able to place an unlimited number of buttons on a window instead of the old limitation of 10. The UI is more user friendly and we have moved unused features to the end of the matrix for more streamlined UI design. A new feature is the multi button. The multi button is a button that works like a combo box where you can have multiple different options in a single button. This allows you to not only have more than 10 buttons, but also gives you the option to have multiple different actions on the same button. Item placement tool have also gotten a few nice enhancements. First, when moving or hiding items, you may have seen that items are moved or hidden that are not supposed to be affected. This is normally due to an incorrect linking done by SAP, resulting in an incorrect placement. Item placement tool is however better at spotting and fixing the incorrect linking now, meaning it makes fewer mistakes. We have also removed a limitation around the defined new feature of a combo box. Normally when you add a combo box linked to a UDT, you have to define new option. We however had a limitation where it did not work when added to the main window. This has now been changed. Item placement tool have also gotten support for creating golden arrows automatically. Before you had to create the arrows yourself using the content creator, but with 6.0 the system can make it for you. We have a number of supported types by default and if you need something that we do not support already, you can choose custom and make the functionality yourself using macro. One of our most popular modules, the B1 Pendant and Lurie, have gotten a new feature called Custom Reporting. Custom Reporting allows you to send emails from any screen in SAP and it also works on add-on windows. For it to work, you will need to provide the crystal and some key information like where to find the BP info and other key data. The configuration is part of the master Lurie system. This means that it works on schedules and in mass delivery. In the screenshot below we have set up B1 Pendant and Delivery to work on the recurring invoice window. And as you can see we have specified some key information for it to work. A new feature made to make the life easier for the consultants are the configuration categories. The configuration category system allows you to create categories and assign configurations to them. You then have the option to get an overview of all the configurations in a specific category. This is meant to be the final step before we create the mass export feature. The configuration overview also allows you to see all the configurations in the system and you can then filter by category, form type and users for an easy overview of the functionality in the system. .NET snippets are a way for us to try to get rid of keywords. When you for example create a B1 validation or a universal function macro, you may sometimes need additional information. This could be things like the name of the window, if a field is visible, enabled, etc. Until now we have manually added keywords to the system to help handle these cases. The problem with the keywords are however that they are not discoverable and that we can never call all the special things that you may want to know. The solution to this is our .NET snippets, where you have the full power of .NET to create your own keywords. On the B1 validation system SQL field and in the universal function macro field, you can right click and get access to a new menu item called .NET code. In the window you can create new keywords where the code of the configuration is the name of the keyword. You then have to specify some code that returns what you want to know and you have access to the SAP SDK. You can then use the keyword in the B1 validation system and the universal function macro. This way you can create very advanced logic and expose it as a simple keyword. B1 UP have gotten quite a few right click menu items over the time. This can, if you are an SAP super user, be quite confusing in your day-to-day -day work. To handle this, you can now move right-click menu items into a sub-menu. This is done using the right-click and it's user-specific. This feature moves all the configuration options into the sub-menu and makes it easier to find the correct right-click feature.
you can of course move the configurations back out into the main menu again. The last new feature is that we have added support for SAP UDO forms. This means that things like function button, item placement tool, etc. now works on SAP UDO forms. As always, this release is available for download at boem-it.com/sbo. Thank you for watching this watch new presentation.